In these problems, we're using the square root rule to solve some quadratics, but we're going to end up with some complex numbers. So we'll be dealing with that uh, imaginary number i. Let's see how this works. We've got 81 times x squared plus 16 equals 0. I want to solve for x by taking the square root, so I'm going to get that x squared term alone. I'll start by subtracting 16. So I get 81x squared equals negative 16. Then I'm going to divide by 81, and I get x squared equals negative 16 over 81. At this point, since the x squared is alone, it's a good time to take that square root. And the square root of negative 16, remember this is going to be plus or minus, because we took the square root here. The square root of negative 16 is going to be, well, negative square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. That's going to be i times 4, or 4i. And the square root of 81 is 9. And that's our answer. x equals, or those are our answers, x equals positive or negative 4i over 9. Let's try another one. This one's very similar. I'm going to start by getting rid of this constant term by subtracting from both sides. I get 64x squared equals negative 25. Then I can get that x squared term alone by dividing both sides by 64. And I get x squared equals negative 25 over 64. Here, when I take the square root, I'm going to get a positive or negative. The square root of 25 is 5, so the square root of negative 25 is 5i. And the square root of 64 is 8. Positive or negative 5i over 8. All right, let's try one that's just slightly trickier. We've got a quantity squared, 5x plus 6 quantity squared, equals a negative 105. We don't need to do anything else to the left before we take our square root, because we have this everything inside the quantity squared. So we're going to take a square root right now. And let's see, we're get, going to get 5x plus 6 over here, and I'm trying to think if there's anything to factor there. I don't think so. So I'm just going to pull out the negative 1 and call this i times the square root of 105. And then we'll, oh, forgot, plus or minus. We're going to want to subtract this 6 from both sides. And when you've already got a plus or minus, it makes sense to put this negative 6 in front of that. So I'm going to write this as negative 6 plus or minus i times the square root of 105. And then finally, to solve for x, we just need to divide both sides by 5. And this is our answer. So it's negative 6 plus or minus i times the square root of 105 over 5. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.